AGO, combination of the old and new from Poland, trying to keep Poland on the Counter-Strike map and straight into that top side. Groovy's gonna have a lot to deal with Furlan. Oh, they're both in their shots. It's electronic to claw one back for Na'Vi, but the man advantage is squandered thanks to Simple and his block. Unarmored this time, and now the shots keep going back and forth. MHL and Fiku in a prime position though. The bombs are yet to be planted. Um, and just for once, match. Simple is the one to drop the P250, or maybe it was the nades, but no armor for him. Neither has Electronic, he saved 700 bucks with his frag. Nodded onto the tally, and that's the end of that. Good work, Fiku, converting it. MHL on the defuse. I didn't get a chance to really look at the buy because they were already rushing in, but I was a bit yeah. confused by some of those things there, Chad. It looked like Simple didn't have armor, neither did Electronic. Did they go heavy? They were the two throwing the utility, I okay. believe. Okay. Uh, it could have been a spawn-based pistol if they wanted to get the players out hut and squeak as quickly as possible. You'd get the players who were spawning towards the back to throw the utility. Um, we jumped into it just as we were exiting hut, so hard to completely decipher oh, good. everything that was going on down with that one right there. And I haven't joined Skybox yet, so I can't even you do look at that. what you think. Exactly. Do your thing, because we've got a hero. Your hero. Did it, when, did, when was it the Russian buy? Wasn't that what it used to be called? Am I, am I misremembering? I swear it used to be once upon a time. Simple though. Let's see what he can do. I mean, he had a belting game. Why not put him on the pedestal for now and see if he can maybe provide you a little something. But there is a plenty of rifle on the other side though. So it's not going to be a comfy one for him to get around. Certainly not. Do a quick check in on the yard position. You'll notice Flamey's going to be deploying his smoke to try and cover off that main angle. Should enable a bit of a walk up. Simple does reveal the AK. Fiku panicking, descending. MHL to cover the rotate to heaven. Fiku breaking both of the windows as well. So it's a clear sound cue of the rotate back. Simple has to act like a crowbar here. He needs to go out and find a kill to open an avenue. And as we can see, the turtling up of Ego, they're playing very passive too. That's good info. Oscarish could be in jeopardy if he doesn't finish off Flamey cleanly. Ooh, and there he the is. A little bit of a bank flip. MHL onto Simple, though. That's the hero AK down. This Should is, be where the round wraps up. This is it, right? Nicely done. And, and I like that Argo kind of postured for this. As soon as that AK was heard, it became very apparent. They were aware of this. There goes the bomb. This has been nicely played out by the Polish squad. Uh, keeping it safe, keeping it simple. Nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. Didn't get baited in. Obviously, the uh, loss of life through the kind of what hut wall bang comes yeah, in. Yeah, that was it's, about it. it. It is what it is, right? That one you can just kind of post away, no problem. Did they recover the AK, though? Uh, no, they didn't. Okay. It was down towards ramp, so they were unable to grab that one. But we will see the buy come through from Na'Vi. And this is what I'm talking about, Lauren, where to like Na'Vi being so aggressive with their buys. Because they had that AK, they went for damage. They were unable to get a lot done. But they've left themselves enough residual cash across all the other members to go for a gun round yet again. So Simple was dropped an AK there. He'll be able to buy his own going forward. And you can see right here, Simple with the head armor and the AK-47. Electronic with one as well. Perfecto. With the third at the mix, Boomer would just be down to that Deagle and the Galil for Flamey. So not a lot of utility to work with, so it comes down to just making the most of what they've got and then looking and searching for those frags. There's three players on the floor of the top side. The boost over towards ramp to get Fiku up and over. And with three smokes, uh, Flamey was uh, holding on to the third smoke. Simple's picked it up. There you go, he's the one for free. They still have a Molotov and a bunch of flashes left, but that is not the way you would have wanted to be starting this round if you are on the side of things for Navi. They've been able to scavenge that rifle as well, so everybody now has the goodies they need. Looks like they're setting up for the L-frame set of smokes here. Image simple and electronic, letting them fly. This is Oscarish on task at the moment to ensure safety here, but... Vision has been depleted, it has been removed, it has been taken away, and what do we have left? No smokes left for the T's, but their approach looks like ramp again is going to be the final destination, and Piku this time adjusted spot, sitting up on that boost posted there earlier, now the flash has come through, no pressure. MHL showing a little, almost baiting in the play, this could be quite nice. Oh, yeah. They did jump check a little on it, trying to make their way through, Boomich though being held up, oh. this beautiful work buying time. Yeah, I love the whole teamwork aspect of that. The bait from MHL comes in to finish off the job. Fiku doing so well to deal with two players trying to knock him off his perch. And the boost in ramp converts another round for AGO here on the CT side of Nuke. With only 20 seconds, electronics options on, well, none. He will be happy to collect a frag. That's MHL confirming he's still in the warehouse. And the CTs, you can see, just taking all of that lobby. 
Not interested in losing any additional rifles, they'll happily let Electronic bring 350 bucks and an AK into the next. It's going to be $2,900 is the loss bonus right here for Navi going into round number four. So I would like to see them potentially go for a half buy, knowing they get the full 3,400 max loss bonus in round five. What we could see here is a bit of a pop towards the top side. They could just do quick secret smokes off the bat and get as many players down as they can. Obviously, Electronic is the key to the round. He will have the biggest gun, the scariest gun. As the fist bumps come on in, there's bananas on the desk. Ah, hashtag worth checking out there. I thought I was going to try and say it. Don't know why I even started saying it. I didn't see it. You didn't? It uh, was in Cyrillic. So I'll, I'll keep my eyes out for it next time. See if you can get that one. Groupie's yeah. going for an audacious Ooh. little play. It's a different smoke wall. He's actually contained and oh dear. <laughs> Baited in by the Deagle shot, started trying to find the trace of fire. And Flamey collects a freebie. Now an AK as well, or rather the... Um, yeah, it was. AK-47 on Groupie now back into the owner's hands. Flamey has to be careful. One scout bullet, he'll fall. Bloody <sighs> hell. Yikes. That's going to open up a lot of problems here. Save already. Oh, boomage. Yeah, yeah, this is everything you want, this right? This is the dream round. Not only have you killed everyone, everyone's got a rifle, everyone's got a kill. Poor old Furlan can't do too much with this one. Admittedly, there's some time. The bomb will be planted now, and Furlan right. walks Perfect. straight into the lion's den. Magnificent round from Na'Vi. And that, of all the rounds for them to start <laughs> their run, is, is this off the back of some pistols. Yeah, that was just a partial investment. So cash is looking fantastic over there for the Navi side of things. You no easier kill than you have a player coming through hot with a knife in his hand and another one looking the wrong way as you can put a couple of Deagle bullets in the side. Ego will be able to buy in again. Deagles for Fiku and MHL. The three with rifles, M4s and the M4A1S for Groovy. Bit of a signature for him. We're seeing more and more of that in some of the matches we've been watching in recent times. Same smoke wall towards Yard. This is a different one. I don't think we've seen one thrown in this fashion before. We've seen a three-way smoke, but normally uh, with the one from Complexity is a little bit deeper. This one here is allowing there to be an avenue for the CTs to pick from behind the warehouse, as opposed to using uh, smokes closer towards credit card and the left-hand side of the warehouse opening. And Ferlin has found one. The image will go down, being a bit of a nuisance here. The flash should allow him to get away and tuck tail before Simple finds him with the AWP. Nice duel right there. MHL's going to grab another. So this is falling apart for Na'Vi very quickly. I think it's happening to them. Yeah, and they have to worry about Ascarish towards the back here. Red pole is a difficult angle to clear. Might not even look. I don't think they will. Clean onto Perfecto in a second challenge. One out as well. Oscarish on for the three. It's just simple on the AWP. He's going to be challenged out. Triple kill for Oscarish and an orb to recover as well. Looks like they did manage to grab it. Good stuff there from Ego, bouncing just back from immediately. Just straight back. I mean, yeah. it looked like Na'Vi had, uh, had cracked the code. They were bringing in so much extra cash because they won on the half. But uh, yeah, this is Oscarish winning the round. It's just as easy as that. It's a very powerful position. The reason warehouse is smoked so commonly. So Na'Vi buy back, of course. Of course, of they course. do. And the money, the residual cash they had from the flow-on effects of round number four, we're show, seeing and showing them right now. MHL has got his all back, so they're trading places between him and Simple from round to round. And oh, Furlan, uh, he's down uh -oh. again early. So outside in Yard, they've given up a couple of openings. Groovy earlier in the piece, and this is fast, straight down towards Secret. Flashes are very suffocating. MHL looking for something, a glimmer. Oh! Groovy, what did he just pull out of the bag? Simple catches MHL full HP through the smoke. Ruby's going to go down as well. Simple could get three here. Quick adjustments. Already an advantage seized by pure willpower and manpower. Simple, the one. He's low. Could be found out by Fiku here, and he does drop the bomb. A chance, perhaps, for the clutch. Oh, Fiku. Such a young gun. Look at that player. Boomage on one side. Flamey on the other. Experience eventually kicks in, and they have him. Bang to right. Groovy with two through the smoke there. I'm disappointed that we, we missed that.
Rush, what's going on, mate? All right, Chad, settle down over there, buddy. Yeah, they, they were through smokes. I was watching the AWP peeking over the smokes, who should have got the kills. We can see him come in here. Oh, maybe not, but that's fine. I don't oh, know. He's really he doing a great job, isn't well, he? Well, if Chad wants to have a go, you know, the, the chair's free. He can come in here anytime he wants. Well, they're he on can... eco right now. Let's 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 swap. I'm coming in. I've got, on, Chad. I've got get, out of be, get out of here. Second, I mean, Rush right, is... Second. Yeah, Rush is coming out here. We'll, we'll, we'll get the A-team out. This is going to be interesting. Come on. Oh, here we go. Okay, so Chad needs to get their first take over the observing. So Rush do your best. I know it's been a bit shaky so far, but, you know, we'll... Well, well he's got to do nuke as well. This is going to be really ridiculous for Chad. I don't know. He knows how the game plays. I know, you know? but it is hard. This is hard mode. This is hard mode for observing because you've got the whole double layer thing going on. That's true. It does get really bit awkward. Up, bit down. Yep. Oh. Z-axis comes into play. Yep, yep. Um, so far, a simple has fallen, but we'll, we'll, we'll kind of... Keep our minds on this if we see that Deagle, the 5-7, maybe get in a position to do something with it at the moment. I wonder if this is Chad. We'll, we'll find out. I'm sure Rush will appear soon, so we'll see. So far, if it is Chad, one for one, two for two. Even a wall bang, we don't get that with Rush. And now, catching almost the kill there. Lovely setup on that 5-7. We were expecting to have some impact. I can only imagine this is sort of Chad's caliber of observing. Very, very solid. Yeah, didn't miss anything Look, there. Look, I've Fantastic observed it a major covering. before, guys. Right? Here so he is. Just, just want everyone to know that. Where's Rush? He's coming, Here he is. Right? He's, Here coming. He is. he's warming up his vocal cords. He's doing his warm-ups. That was gorgeous, though, Chad. Nicely done, mate. Call that wall bang, too. That was all Rush, still. Shut we were, up. We're waiting Shut to trade places. Here he is. Here. Oh, baby. Here we go. Headset on, bud. Let's have a chat. Chat is going to lose their mind. They absolutely love you, mate. Is this my headset? Yeah. Oh, this is nice over here. Isn't it nice? nice. Very roomy. I know. I feel like the microphone quality really helps us because you don't. I can hear how trashed here Chad's is. <laughs> oh, yes. It's, it's not the best, honestly. Hold on, hold but, on, hold oh. on. We've got something going on here. And you know what? I'll oh take it for God. now, but you know that... Na'Vi is sweating bullets as we speak. This got a little bit too deadly. Groovy's the big player, though. He's got a rifle rush. Yes, he does. He does have the rifle, and I think he can turn this one around. MHL only on the P250. Not a, a weapon you like to see in a, such an important round as this. The T is very spread out all around the map. They have the control of the bomb. But what are the, where, where are the T's going with this? I'm not sure what they can do here. It's a good question. To find the answer will be a, a recovery of the bomb. Electronic being so very healthy, and Perfecto quite the opposite. I'm full. I really have not. Um, Yeet. Yeah. Jubbly. I haven't mastered the uh, no fall damage drop down when I'm trying to throw my hot molly. It's embarrassing. For now, 45 seconds. Here comes the retake rush. This. It's important. It's important. They're going to need that, those. Oh, MHL's picked up an AK as well. They could really do this. Perfecto, 8 HP to his name. That's 108 total on the T side. They're creeping and crawling into, into the lobby here, but it's going to be close. It's going to be tight. Groovy gets one. Not sure where from, but Electronic last alive now. But MHL takes it out nice and secure. Sometimes and you just got to stick to your guns there. You know, I thought MHL was good for one, so I, I stayed with it, all right? Yeah, yeah, I respect that. Sometimes you just have to let him go, Chad. That is the truth. You got to let him go. What and... buttons, uh, Rush? I know Chad was telling me he's only going to do the 1 to 10. Could you give him one fancy camera that he can try and whip out at well, some point? he knows the sight cams, F4 and F5. F4 and F5 for the sights, Chad. F8 would be yard, right, Rush? F8 is yard, yeah, correct. Yeah, it. I believe Backspace is also a custom cam I made for you of the L-frame. This is the yard cam. Very nice, but leave this to MC. He's got some fancier cams, Chad. Don't worry about it too Oh, oh, baby, okay. Here we go. Smoke's out. Is it the classic? Bit of a line coming through. MHL's vision now limited, but trying to isolate Boomich from the rest of the pack. Oh, yeah, the timing just a little unfavorable. They are already starting to cross. There's some sound cues available to MHL. He's a cognizant that Boomich likes to linger there and does get away with chucking that nade out. Who's down lower? Is it Oscar? It's Oscar-ish, yeah. Playing that headshot angle. The smoked him off already. Only has a flashbang to deter from now. Powerful smoke. It's going to delay him out for a little bit more time, give an extra rotate, as we can see. Verlan also popping down there. It's going to be tough from down here. I think Verlan probably will get destroyed here, most likely, but nice chip on the corner. It does take a player down. Kill outside somewhere, but that's fine. As all the focus needs to be down here. You're in the right place, Chad. Don't you worry about it. 
So I with a quick pick up. They get into Marsh. It is simple though. Picks up one, swings it for the other. Oh, it does get denied. All on Flamey, he can't take it. I was the backup player, so he had his finger floating on Flamey when still. You know I, I've been paying attention. That oh. is the trick to observing. You always have a backup player, so when your player dies, you're not like, oh, who do I switch to? Right, because otherwise oh, you have to do all that thinking in a matter of exactly. seconds. Exactly. Yeah, you, second. you don't want to think. The, the key is don't think. Chad's really going to struggle with that, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to struggle. But I do want to highlight Furlan then. How he was able to stay in there, like a little xenomorph in the vents just running around. Not only the first, but managing a couple more, being a nuisance. Didn't even have to really see Oscar bringing too much to the plate. Tech is out, Deagle's out. Have we done the eco? What do you think? I'll join you oh, as well, Rush. Rush. Go on. Okay. Hype it up. Looks like we got a Deagle round coming in here. They're posturing a one player already towards lower, so they're expecting some kind of outside take here. And outside will be the control of the Nardis Vince here. A powerful position from Electronic. Does look like Groovy is aware, and he looks like he's going to clear this. This could be devastating if the Tech 9 connects its shot, but Groovy takes him down. Yeah, this is going to be real problematic. Boomich, perfecto and simple in jeopardy here. Not too much time left on that clock. Only one whole minute. And that's the end of Boomich. Bye-bye, Boomich. Perfecto, simple, bomb, back. MHL in the yard position. Rushley, this one's going to go down to the wire. Yeah, this is going to be a tough round. Simple with that crisp-looking deagle, all white with a bit of multicolor going on, but I don't think they've got a chance in this round at all. But Simple, this is a good spot. He's got himself. No weapon to pick up. Goodness gracious. Die. Great balls of oh, fire. Oh, Fiku, bye-bye. <laughs> All right, Sadie Kiss. Yeah, I went a bit Sadie Kissy there. <laughs> oh, MHL, huge off shot connecting on Perfecto there, taking him out of the round, leaving it all on simple. Chris Deagle, we've seen him with the Deagle in the past. We know M4. what he can do. Picks up the M4. This could be Oh, everything. my God. What a flick. Can he find the other? No, MHL takes him down. <laughs> oh, I got genuinely excited and I had, became a weird American British hybrid. Ooh. Okay, I'm oh. glad that's over. Okay, okay Kona's away. We've had a good time. Yes. We've had a good bit of fun. Yes. Can I request Rush some uh, oh. some some uh, toss spot if possible, Lauren? Uh, it's a weird request, Chad. I'm not sure if I'm the person to be able to give you that. Ah, all right. Well, sorry, uh, mate. Cool. Um, but in the game, that's a bit weird. Uh, it did sound like. Have you ever seen those MRE reviews, Rush? You you go oh, on the weird I watched side of YouTube. Last night, actually. Yeah, you sound exactly <laughs> like him. You sound exactly like him, and it's Let's fantastic. Nice. I've been watching the lock nice. picking lawyer as well. Well, That's a good one, too. Yeah. Don't dabble with that. Them. I like the reviews of, like, bad orange, like, mixes together, but... Ooh, this could be quite nice. Electronic playing around the smoke, but Furlan's flash. A... Oh, the, oh jump. the jump! Couldn't be better timed. Electronic, how are you alive? Not for long. As the body falls, and lovely catch there from old Chadney. He knows what he's doing, that's for sure. All those years, professional play has been uh, working towards this exact day. MHL through the door, really annoying thing to catch. Believe me, Chad, I know, but they're pushing outside. Pretty much goes down to the hands of Groovy, but Ramp, they've got to, they've got to shoe in, but they take, they're trying to take lobby control. The bomb is down in the smoke. I think he'll slip that away as Perfecto takes a bit of ground towards Ramp. There's no one low right now, so if they duck down fast, they can get down there. No one to contest but it's all about who, which CT decides to go down first. And here's the question, who will be that rotator? Chad's fingers vibrating with excitement as to whom <laughs> he shall sit, switch to. <laughs> Ooh, okay, flashes out, oh. no sight access, and it's MHR to descend the vents. The big green, well, it's not actually green, it's all kinds of colors. Opening decon, safe plan. It's a very, very powerful spot, Perfecto is in, does drop off of it. Yeah, it's just going to isolate these two. It's very hard for them to navigate away, but they will be taking the fight towards ramp. It's all they can do. Post it up. Back to the wall. Perfecto with three. Oh, yes! And it can't come through. MHL to close it down. And honestly, as much as we can mess around, we have a little bit of fun on this. Argo is doing well here. Let's take a little bit of stock. Let's roll it back for a second. I mean, you're sure. I it is CT side. It is T side. We know. We understand. But we also know that T side has become a little bit easier for a couple of teams. This is not a bad performance thus far from Argo. No, no one would take that away from you. And of course, I think I think this is also a little bit of a product of the uh, the Navi buy into yes. the XCOM AGO success with their little half buy. And we saw how successful that was, but double orbs are out. That is interesting. Now, a lot of people rush, I'm sure. How long? Okay, this is a test. You've been watching a lot of Chad's casts. What does he say is a downside of double orping CT nuke rush? Now, yeah, look, 
you know, these are valuable players, but double up, you know, on the retakes, especially on Nuke, is gonna be a little tough. I assume they put uh, Fiku towards ramp, and that is correct. MHR, I'd like to see him get a bit more aggressive. They can take one early. It's less likely they'll get a retake, I suppose, but I don't think that's gonna happen. But it is Tech 9, so we'll see. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Could get overwhelmed, though, and you are bang on. This is going to get problematic for Fiku backing into that lower side. He's already got two Electronic. players down there, yeah. Keep him in mind. He came down secret. He's been a pest around the back lines, and I don't think they're aware at all. Nice, oh, nice, nice. Electronic, do it to him. Do it to him. Ah, oh, he's too nice. He's, he's being too safe. Safe pair of hands here. No knife shenanigans. And Electronic doing very well to convert that too. Yeah, but Flamey can win this round right here. That's two to rotate, but he does manage to slow them down. At least confirm two descending from the vent side. Furlan from ramp. They're actually quite lucky they lost both their orbs here, so retaking won't be too crazy to do. And simple, don't don't let him have the orb. It's funny how they have two orbs. Oh yeah. Them here. That's pretty nice. Okay, two orbs on the after plan. Certainly an upgrade from the Tech 9, but these guys are just going to be cowering towards that uh, T spawn. You know, I think Chad's been doing semi-okay. It is nuke. It is definitely the hardest map to do, however. Can I be honest? I've not noticed much of a difference. I, I <laughs> He didn't highlight I've missed the a electronic lot of kills, when and I, I haven't been telling the story secret. very well. Yeah, if you could pick that up a little I'm bit. I'm trying. I'm really yeah. trying. It is hard. It yeah, is if, hard. If I'm noticing where electronic is and how exciting that could be, I feel like you could be as well. No, no. I mean, me and Rush have that same deal too. I'm, I, it's not, I'm not calling him bad when I say, but what about X? It's because yeah. he's yeah. thinking of something else. There's 10 moving it. dots. There's jibblies I mean, and there's wibblies. You're guiding the story as well. I think that's good. Yeah. I'm never offended if you say, oh, let's look at this play. I'm like, excuse me? Um, that's my oh, choice. How dare Actually, you, as, <laughs> as a commentator telling me, I'm the observer. Are you called a caster and observer? No, no, you're not. I think it's fine. I, I've always had no problem with it. A cobserver. Yeah, I like that. Do you ever call, oh, do you call your um? Do you call your bread rolls cobs, brush? Uh, <gasps> yes, oh. I am a northerner, but oh Look my at god, that SMG Furland through Furland. He's Simple got an AK. Baffled. No, no skip coming out from Simple. I would have liked to see that coming through the smoke, but Oscarish now will be taking more control of outside. Flamey looks like he's... Where, where is... Oh, he's on A-site. He's dead, though. Rest in peace. And now it's just a two terrorist. Simple taking out Boomer to the one before. I don't think he can do it, but let's take, let's take a look and see what he can do. That was like the horse racing one at the end there. <laughs> Have you got the um the CSGO HUD thingamajiggy on? Oh, no, I don't. Dude, that makes your life so much easier. Oh, Lauren, can you hook him up? Yeah, Looking I'll, at that I'll stats now. Yeah, like, Dad's been opening programs. I don't know what he's Dad's up Dad's got his old fancy yeah, skybox yeah. set up. Yeah. We're going to jump into skybox. Guys, just, no, just a note on the on the reaction cams there. It looks like they're arguing a little bit. So um, Who's they? Well, Flamey was quite distraught after that round. Oh, well, thank you for the observation, Mr. Observer. Makes wow. sense. Round Getting this dashboard 14. up here. Yeah, this will help. This is this is how you can actually understand what that bloody hell is going on, Dan. Quick exchange of UCL there. Molotov landing in the broken door will stop them. And now, look, lining up for a second. Groovy can lock them at the door. Boom, it is ahead of it. And it's simple to find the headshot into the top site. Oscarish, what can you contribute? Doesn't seem like too much. A deterrent fired out from that T side vent. And they doing significant damage. The flash not going to be pushed because Simple has met his end thanks to the AWP of MHL. We can see where that bomb is. Electronics got it for now. Kind of biding his time. So upper site isn't fully under control yet. It's still being a little fought over, a little bit of a scrap still happening around. I'm waiting to see once that bomb comes in, what they have in store. Perfecto, potentially waiting on the drop smoke. Oh, MHL. Finds another. Wow, this if only on we it. were watching him, it'd be so cool. Edit in post, edit in post, edit in post. All right, Perfecto ain't gonna be moving. Big fan of Perfecto as Chad, isn't he? He loves this guy. He'll get one, I'm sure. Well, well, we've invested so much time into him. He better ace the round. Oh, dude, that's okay. Four kills from MHL. We saw none of them, but I'm sure they were spectacular. They look pretty good from here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't blame you for not watching the AWP on the retake. I mean, let's see this first one through the smoke. Okay. Nonsense. Okay. Yeah, unreasonable. Let's see if we've got any more nonsense here. Quick, uh, lovely. That's, quite... uh, that's fair. Ooh, that looks nonsense. Oh, Flamey thought he had a chance, and maybe that's just going to continue to... Ooh. I thought he was going to clench his fist. I thought that was like anger the surging Arthur through his just, hand. Yeah. Uh -huh. I thought we were going to have the full Arthur meme, but 10 to <laughs> 4. This is a key round. Navi, if they can put five on the board, win the pistol, nothing Easy. to complain about. Nothing. 
But Fiku going down is going to make it all the easier for them to find that final round of play. Awkward smokes outside. Yeah, they're not looking too good. MHL's pushing up for the lobby position. Just established there for now. Simple and perfecto are just around that corner, but they are just pausing in that lobby. Groovy as well, inquisitive. They're looking good, but if they go top here, it's going to be pretty tough to get through Groovy. NHL. NHL is clearing so much here. This is sick, but he, he still he can't die. That'd be a problem. He's done just just one. There you go. Look at it. Can't ask for more. Groovy immediately falls back out of the heart. Mission accomplished. Come on, NHL. God. Chill now. Chill. Need to get out of dodge. Stay alive. Nate might aid his escape, and he does tuck in in time. That's fantastic. And now, Offside. who's left? Simple, Electronic, Perfecto. Okay, Electronic can't have the time on this. He's got to go fast. Perfecto has delivered, though. That's excellent work. Still a good shot in this one. Bear in mind, I think one of the final players, Ferlin, isn't that close by. So there's going to be a bit of a time limit on this. MHL, this time, we put some faith in him. Whoa. Can't do it. Groovy, well controlled. Expects Electronic. Very winnable, yeah. Oh, that Molotov is going to buy him enough time to safely plant. Ferland's got boatloads of util, but this 1v1 is brought to you by Rushley. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, lots of util flash coming out. Electronic, I'm sure he can do this and take him to a 10-5 half. Just waiting, counting one, two, three in his head, just as Carrigan said, moving to hut. Ferland, he knows though, this is pretty smart. Jumping up here, it could be a waste of time if Electronic went into hut, but Electronic is out of hut and he's gonna get caught. And he had no idea, 11-4 in the half. That was a banging half. I was absolutely loving it. I think uh, Chad did an okay-ish job. I think, personally, I think I'm better, but I think Chad's definitely better at what I'm doing here. But that's going to wrap up the half. From what I'm aware, we usually go to a break round about here. So we're going to take it a break, and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys after. Take a look at these highlights. Okay, no, 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 no. See you guys. <laughs> Magnificent. We'll be right back. Good job, Rush.
It's an 11 4 half in favor of AGO. I've got Sponge and Pansy hanging out at the desk. We have put Rush back in his cave and we've tightened the, uh, the cuffs. I'd just like to apologize to everybody at home watching that first half. Uh, there were some rough rounds in there, okay? Uh, oh, dude. Is it, it stressful? Did it, you get a little stressed? All the blobs are so close to each other. Like, I know where the duels are meant to be happening, but I, you lose track of players and it's wild. It all just spirals out of control quite quickly. What's going on here then? Simple's got an armored CZ, which is probably the most expensive pair you can have. Ooh, and that's why you give it to Simple. Oh. Quick delivery, triple kill, fresh to your doorstep. And I said, yes, 11 4 sounds positive for Ego, but if they win that pistol, if they convert cleanly, strap yourselves in for a Navi comeback. I really did enjoy some of the accents that were, were coming out with the commentary that you guys were doing. Do you think uh, I could ever do a Scouse cast? I hope not. Like, seriously, like. Stevie G was fucking mad, like, had some chicken and a can of coke. I think about three people understood what you said. Yeah, that was actually English, by the way. Oh. I promise. All right. They just speak like that. Shout out to my cousin. I only got one now. Disowned the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I disowned a lot of my family members as well, Alex. It's all good. Sometimes you got to do it. You can't pick them. No. You can choose if you talk to them or not. Definitely. It'd be nice to your mums. Or your primary caregiver. That's the one. We, we did we did modify we, that. We, we've, we've, we've switched it up. We've worked on that. Simple, however, has still got a CZ. Oh, Piku gets the timing. Still reacts in time. And of course, these are unarmored uh, blocks. Uh, is he here? Ruby's come all the way around from heaven. <laughs> oh, oh, and he's landing Gucci's. Come on, Groovy. Run, Boomage, run. He's out of there. And oh. damage again. That is a frustrating one. Two, make it three players within one bullet range for a converted frag. But... Back into the AKs now, and that is going to be the sixth for Na'Vi. So this is going to be the most interesting one to me, because take a look at their money. They, they are going in with this. I like it. This is what Chad gets all excited about. The fact of the matter is that they can, if they win this, they pretty much lock in like a, a, a slew of rounds. I mean, assuming everything else goes their way, by winning this, you're going to have a bank account that previously and often is punished it by the CTs. In this case, you'll have a lovely bit of padding. You've got the memory foam mattress. It's got the little watery bit. If you win this, you're not living paycheck to paycheck. You're not. That's a perfect analogy, Chadney. I'm putting that in the book. Do we have? Can I have a book? Yeah. I have one at home. You have one. They gave you one with Yeah, yes, I'll give you a book. Take it out for a spin tomorrow. Take it out for a spin tomorrow. Give it a wrapper. I don't like the actual books, the bound ones. I, it has to be a ring binder. I keep getting Instagram targeted ads for this tablet you can write on and it has the text on paper. Nah. And I'm like, paper, maybe that's pen. what I need. Too old school for that. Yeah. Round 18, ladies and gentlemen, XCOM go. Ago. Can they get this one done? Take us to a third as the AK 47s are out in the first gun round here in the second half. Utility towards yard. Molly's landing to ensure that smoke wall, but the extinguished sound. It's normally a positive cue. Electronic with the nade. How much damage onto Furlan? There it is. Just 15 points of damage. Pumps in in Deutsch. Electronic onto a Scarish. Pumps in main. Yeesh. Yeah, the bomb is right there in front of his nose. And already Electronic's got the double kill to make this bonus round, if you will. All the more deadly. And an extra twist in the tail of this. Nice shots from Furlan, but Piku dueling with Simple. He could get overwhelmed. And yes, Furlan's hitting all of his shots. Fiku left alone, but the bonus, as I was trying to finish, was that they can also scavenge those AKs. So it's not like they're rebuying or they're stuck with an MP9. This is the dream scenario for an RV comeback, and they can double peek on the MP9s now with a flank confirmed. And is the seventh. So now this is what I'm talking about. Perfect. We actually get to all learn together. Uh, if anyone was wondering and concerned as to the power of the bonus buy, we're about to get a prime example of it here, delivered to us by Na'Vi. Now, this is how the double kill happened at the start of things. Electronic, FAMAS, 40 HP. It shouldn't be a double kill, but with his precision, his crosshair placement down to 23 for the last duel, and he still body shots him to death, dink into the center of mass. And now you can see it again. Charging in now with a full buy. AK's galore, only at the Deagle armor. And so lots of smoke. So we'll be outside smokes and there will be at least be one man behind it. Looks like plenty more than one, Lauren. Four of them charging outside. And Electronics Molly will delay them. Oh, I think it got extinguished. No, definitely will slow them down. Okay. So they're, they're all here. Electronics has gone and had a look. He's now probably uncovered maybe. Oh, there's a lot more. There's maybe two, three more shooting at me through the smoke, but. No one's rotated it off. Simple was. Oh, why? Where did that smoke come from? Someone dropped it and went back up oh, the fence. Oh, it was Boomich. Boomich went lower, dropped it. Now he's gone back towards top site. Cheeky beam. There's no rotator right now to go on down, so they will be giving up control of the doors and decon. Uh, maybe that won't matter too much. The bomb is still stuck behind red box. That is the real problem oh, that here. that is the problem. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. 
if they break the windows and open doors lower, maybe they could pull a rotation of a few more players. So far, it's just Flamey on the scene, clearing out, about to have a duel in the window. Meow. That's all right, Rush. Get that one next time, man. Here we go. Chad, <laughs> I'm only kidding. Bloody It's very hell. difficult. Yeah, yeah. Symbols joined, though. Ooh. And Fallon. What's he done? That's the bomb. Loose again. In a almost similar position. So the two who did pressure down towards lower suddenly feel a little bit lost in 30 seconds. They could make some problems happen, I'm sure, but it's going to be very difficult. CT side fully aware of where they need to guard what's under control. Yeah, that bomb main. It's two rounds in a row, it's kind of been the bane. And that's Boomich collecting his second. It will be Furlan. They needed a very mechanical adjustment. Plenty of cash for AGO to splash into our 20th round of play. But as we have seen, this is Na'Vi con converting the pistol, winning the first gunny. And now we're into, well, a state of affairs where if your T side continues to feel a little hamstrung, a little labored, before you really know it, Na'Vi are 2-0 and completed the series. Gonna need to see AGO tighten things up just a little here. And then it may come off the back of the AWP on MHL. T side AWPing on Nuke, far from the most creative you can be with it. Outside, holding ramp, pretty much his only options. It's the standard secret smoke's coming out here. Just trying to draw a rotation from the CT side. And there he is. They're coming behind them very late here. So Boomich is gonna drop this smoke again. We saw that in the previous, and then he Trickles back up towards top. So the timer Ooh, the on that timing. smoke hell. will be down by about a minute and Boomich won't be the first rotator. But what that actually causes for the T's if they were to go down secret is spending more time clearing out back vents, decon, etc. cetera. Furlan needs this duel. Electronics been winning it every single time and he continues to do it. Really quite a scary player to have to deal with finally. Groovy gets over the fear. Four on four. They need this round AGO. Just remind us of that they can compete on the T side, otherwise it's going to start to slip away. Flamey cognizant that there is a possibility for someone to rise above him, and that's a perfect chance for him to look up. This Ooh. is going to hurt. Yep. Bye, Groovy. Great timing. Perfecto prime position here. Bit of trigger discipline, perhaps. No, but with Flamey going down, he's just going to have to draw blood now. Perfecto, Perfecto fail, as well. fail as well. Didn't even catch that. So top side opens with some great flight paths. AGO planting. All right, Boomage and simple. Not even a step for Boomich, really. It's just simple oh. now. Lovely work from MHL. He said needs to make a difference, and it does. Lovely little close for him, too, at the end. But it is the round they needed. 12 on the board now. Okay, well, for the Na'Vi side of things, it's a tricky situation. I think the Na'Vi that we all know and love probably will go for a buy round here. If we were talking percentage counter-strike, it should just be the pistol upgrade for a few of their members because their loss bonus going into the next round will be $1,900. So they, they don't have to go for the full buy, but in Na'Vi fashion, they probably will. And they have. So it's uh, three M4s and two SMGs. The CT side of Nuke usually need a lot of utility to stop the rushes over towards ramp, over towards Squeaky and Hut. A Molotov is perfect. You follow it up with a smoke and well through the legs. MHL unfortunately not converting that one. Would have been a I lovely opening. I would love to see. Oh, wow. I don't know if that damage was from him. Yeah, it was. Oh, he goes up the ladder enough. We'll drop the smoke and return to the lower responsibility. But what I was trying to say is I'd love if Furlan takes some lower space. But the fact of the matter is there's three CTs down there. Flamey's on the ramp. Simple and Boomich, they really are expecting to see a lower hit. It's probably better if Flamey dies here. Him tucking back and giving away a free avenue towards ladder might change the sure. strategy of XCOM Ago. So if oh. they were to go ramp, it would be a B go. I'm here all week. Rush back, bring him back, please. <laughs> Dear Lord, someone. Wheel him out of the cave. Ah, that's the Molly liner, just on the first little strut. So if Furlan gets vent control here, that means he could split through the top side or at least stop the CTs rotating back up the vent because it will be a top pop. 45 seconds left on the clock. Smoke towards main and away we this go. Flash, by the way. CT vent flash. The only person it doesn't catch is main. So unless Perfecto was cowering behind the site, in which case he's safe as houses. Good for the Raptors players, though. Three of them. Emerging out of squeaky, no contact, no real decision making yet. With 30 seconds, that's Oscarish found by Perfecto on his hunts, and now Boomich arrives. And this harder. is Navi just continuing to groovy, giving it a good go. Will they expect Furlan? 19 seconds. I don't see a world where he can get that bomb down and find space. Perfecto will likely get caught. 
Okay, but yeah, that's it. Electronic in main, playing a real tight corner. They're all playing this to perfection. He has to retrieve the bomb and Electronic gets that shot. Yeah, he's a master of that position, actually. I hadn't considered just the impact he's making, but looking at this map as a little microcosm of his approach, it is very, very impressive. You can see multiple times with fan masses, low HP, two targets. Every time he's weathered the storm. This time a top split, but he does what he needs to. Stays on the edge of the smoke, not giving him any trace of fire. Counting on Perfecto and then supporting when necessary. Really nice, really nice stuff from Na'Vi here. I think one of the keys that I'm noting with Electronic is no matter what is happening in the round, he's always watching main. And that could be tendencies that they picked up from watching Ego play in the demos, understanding how they always want to be coming late through main or early through main with these splits because it's been punished, which feels like every single time. The tactical timeout will be taken, as you can see here with the scores. Only one round, round 20, was posted on the board for Ego. The rest of it has been one-way traffic, and not even many plants are coming through. Notice the icon there is the skull. That means it's via elimination. They haven't needed to defuse the bomb. It hasn't been a retake scenario in the traditional sense. It's great to see Perfecto having a good game as well. So simple, still fragging as he was in the first map. Perfecto having a good game. Electronic now with a lot of impact. Things looking good on the Navi side of things for this beautiful Thursday. Oh, Chad, stop talking about how nice it is outside. Oh, I just meant, you know, we're all alive. And oh, that's Thursday. nice. Yeah. yeah, it is Thursday, generally, my dudes. Yeah. Just, just generally, we're all still breathing. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's the little things. <laughs> okay. I want to see if maybe we get that uh, electronic test again. You're right, he has been really exceptional what he's been doing, so it's been quite fun, but simple. He has simple in support. You can't ask for more, can you? It's, it's a wonderful combination. And now here comes the hit. Towards the upper side, they once again go electronic again. Small adjustment, this time does fall, but his value is ever present. That's now just MHL. Trying to find room, not gonna happen. Nicely handled by Na'Vi, not too many threats to be found. So that is hard for me to count. Two plus four is six. Uh, so that's six of the last seven rounds of play. Bang. And it's all it takes. Simple managing to get the supportive final frag after the electronic and boomage handling of the situation. It's tough when you do a top site take and you haven't got something accounting for that CT vent. The amount of times I see a multi kill out of that position, Chad, I assume it must be almost compulsory. Yeah, it's one of the must clear positions and usually with the utility easy to clear. You feel like you're wasting it when somebody's not there. Yeah. It's one of those things you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. And Flamey, can you give us a Katowice highlight, ah! my friend? It doesn't look like it. This is going to be real quick. I wonder if Simple missing a shot is going to leave them a bit more of a gap. Swarming. They're coming towards heaven. Simple's reacted accordingly. He does well to distract and pull them back. And eventually, Ruby does take the scout, but he's pulled them into Electronic's line of sight. Another furl and warning shot. He has the bomb as well. The steps indicate he's got a lot of targets closing oh, in on him. God. Four players here, Alex. They're all around. You're so spot on. Those steps are nerve-wracking, but he saw the shots too. Support gets cut off. There's no one on the way. Furlan isolated and decimation in the end. Na'Vi almost right back on this now. 12 to 11. But actually, decimation means they're dividing something into 10 pieces, and so you're using it wrong at Pansy. And it's so that. crazy that Any we have... You do that. I've had it so many I times. I know you've had it. I remember you I'm saying like, this. Just, it sounds cool, and it, everyone knows it means destruction. You bloody weirdos. Sitting there with your thesaurus, just... I'm not going to finish that sentence. I'm no, on air. Don't. But so, yeah, don't 12, to 11, 12 to 11. Tell 12 to 11 as they continue to decimate. They can't stop decimating them. It's so good to see them decimate here. Flamey needs a lot here. And oh, the spray, it's colossal. Four. He might even find the fifth. It's Oscarish to try. And that's the end of that one. Perfecto puts the cherry on top, but it's Flamey that delivers the sweet, sweet dessert. Uh, colossal is actually just a science fiction film from 2016. <laughs> <laughs> colossus by definition. <laughs> that's the dream of a ramp player. That's what everyone wants to happen. Of course, a single flashbang or a Molotov can immediately derail all of that. Yeah, it's a bit of a dream. Why wasn't... No, Alex, don't ask questions you don't have answers to. There you go, just down to the pistols here in round number 25. A little bit of utility on the board, but it feels like they're not finding too many options and answers in this one whatsoever. Just going to take a little bit of a look at my round timeline. How was your memory? Pretty good. What was the round that they won? What did they do? Uh, that's where MHO got two kills with the AWP. Thank you, the Planet Top Sags. Yeah, mm. they were able to, to get the bomb down there. It was a... Bit of a ramp fake into a top lurk out. Heaven. Smoke. Boomage flash. This is the top side take. And well. Oh, easy as you like. It doesn't get easier than that. Two of them through the hut. He was flashed. Perfecto beheaded. Oh, simple quick to return us to normality. Good shots from MHL. 
It's going to get sprayed down, though, and it's Electronics to collect the frag. So, yeah, as we see, Na'Vi have really dug their heels in on this defense. This is a magnificent comeback. They've only dropped a single round, and it is about time for their timeout, the third from AGO. And only six kills in the last five rounds wow. for that of AGO, right? So you have to look at this. Uh, the, after the round they won, they only managed three kills. Then there was a streak of three rounds in a row, but then they had one kill per round here. It was two, but they weren't that hugely impactful frags. So they're on the way out the door. This is very clean stuff from Navi. Uh, maybe they just need Rush back. It's a difference maker. And Rush is here. Okay. Uh, do you think that he's the good luck charm? Yeah. Rush, do you think you're a good luck charm? Uh, well, I must have been, apparently. So, um, but uh, I'm fine with Navi smashing. I, I like watching simple kill. Yeah, well, it's like the Hulk smash. Simple yeah. kill, Hulk smash, kind of works. Same, same. There's uh, another timeout coming on through here. Navi have taken the lead in the game. 13 to 12, round 26, about to get underway. Simple on the AWP, not rocking the org this time. MHL will have his big green on the other side of things. Potentially get a heads up duel as He's heading towards the yard position. Simple will be floating over towards heaven. Oh, very, very noisy. Lots of damage too. Ascarish will make it straight down secret. So he's taking a lot of territory. Simple's actually towards the lower side of things with the orb. So this could be deadly. It looks like they actually are all corralling down here. They have to wait out and respect this smoke. And then after they do so, they have a Molotov to drop onto Simple's position. Here it comes. Ascarish is lining his up. MHL ready to land the smoke as well. Okay, so Simple still holding at the stairs and finding both of them. Groovy from the vents needs to try and take him out, but he's already ready for it. Ah, he's ready for everything as Simple. Another triple kill in the round, 26 frags to his name. I almost feel like I'm beating a dead horse every time I get excited about a multi-kill from Simple at this point. But yeah, here it is again, re-peeking into them, making them look foolish, just around the gap from the Molotov a little too short. And here comes another adjustment just in the nick of time. It must be nice when your average is excellence, right? Like yeah. there's no two ways to look at it. This guy just day by day does things that people do at their highest peak. So it is it, it, it is weird to quantify it, because as I said, it, it feels wrong to get excited by it, but it's so well done. And again, electronic oh. this time, a new look, a new spot, but still as viable as ever. This should be round 15. It's hard it feels to like 15, dude, yeah. Oh. Gap on the reload, take down one. Effecto steps up to the plate though and looks to be knocking this one out of the park. Get them out of here, pack their bags, hit them in the lobby. I mean, for AGO to come back and review this, if we do operate under that assumption that this mm. round is over, I mean, they did manage to not only learn a lot about their Mirage, which we saw five T rounds posted from them and four CT rounds posted. They say you learn more from a defeat. And over on Nuke, the fact that they're keeping this one as close, it was their T side success. It was a Na'Vi only getting four rounds, I should say CT side, excuse me, the 11 on the defense of Nuke, certainly not Something to be snubbed at, but admittedly, it is Na'Vi's often a little bit more volatile side. Okay. No scope. Jeez, Louise. Peppered away, going uh, the Tech 9 Madness. Come on, why don't you get a stand? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> He's having one of those days. He's having one of those days, lads. Yeah, strap yourselves in. It's a shame we're not going to get another map of it. Ego are going to be one and three uh, after this if they are to lose. So one and three in terms of their win-loss ratio. They'll have one win. That was against Heroic. They'll have three losses. Got a cool camera angle for that one. Put that in the frag movie. So they'll have lost to Big, OG, and Na'Vi. That means the other teams in their group they still have to reverse are Ents, G2, and Godsent. So there's still some chances for them to get to victories on the board as Pro League is a round-robin format, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And here's MHL. Let's see if he can find an opening. Denied and dinked. Ah. God, it does feel like the brick wall Na'Vi is just not moving, is it? Anywhere they go, they seem to be met by force. MHL has had a couple of moments, so he's certainly on the radar now. Someone to look for. Furlan found a bit of room, found simple and thought better of it. But now you go into Electronics Den, and he's been exceptional at this. Back to point. Does he find Furlan Hello. first? Yeah, he's seen enough. That's got to give away the game here. Furlan's now been noted. Where are the others to this? I wonder if Furlan was doing that just to hope Electronic goes hunting. Instead, his crosshair placement is indicative of something a little more naive, just hoping for someone in the warehouse. And then there's the clears. Wow, the adjustment quick enough. 
That's the opening they needed. Boomer yet to pull the trigger. CT Venom option, not anymore. Now denied by the flames. He tucks in. Furlan found in main. Boomage found as well. Perfecto unable to convert into Groovy. This will be a viable attempt for AGO here. Simple trying to hit some ladder, no scope. Flamey though. Oh, the dink. In a world, in a different world, that's a double kill. They are so low, and you can see Simple switching to the Deagle is indicative of that information has been passed on. MHL to peak. And on the peak, he does convert. 13, that is the second T round we've seen from a Ago. Someone needs to tell us how to say it. I like it how it's different every time. Yeah. Keeps me guessing. Right. AGO, 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 XCOM Ago. <laughs> I went to an XCOM shop when we were in Katowice. That's like the. Uh, the peripherals and your oh, jibblies yeah, and your phones yeah. and your laptops. Be, 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 be. Yeah. It's weird how we've been to Katowice every year since 2014. Yeah. Wow. How many people can say they've been to a Polish mining town on an annual a base? basis? Yeah. yeah. Love the trip, of course. I've, I think there was even years when I was playing where I'd go multiple. I'd be there at least two times a year. Changed a lot, that old town. Ooh, electronics on the island right now. He has to get one here. Shadow, and there's the opening kill. Electronic always using them to his advantage. You see it in main. You see it in towards yard. Fiku netting himself a little bit here, and he didn't net open squeak here, I don't think. I think the smoke bounced back at him. Oh, no, not like that. Boomage yet to be forced out. Groovy likely to Molly. Simples found MHL on the hunt in hut. Oscarish, Groovy trying to defend it, or Na'Vi will take this 2-0. Good shots from Simple. It all falls to Grubby. Miles away. Bomb on his back. And Flamey could be the one to pull the trigger for the final time. This map does just hit the warning shot down to 58. He's hungry to get this one done and dusted. Grubby, though, could find this little gap in the off angle. I like it. That's good play. Cost him a great deal of health, though. The flash might force Electronics to look away. He's not falling for it. 16 to 13, a close game. Na'Vi too strong on the defense. AGO unable to post more than two. 